Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to AP. So last week we finished up most of the details on our mausoleum and this week as promised I was going to do the stained glass windows and I wanted to highlight these because I've never done stained glass windows before and also I think I came up with a really cheap and easy way to do these on any building of any size. So. Without further ado, let's head to the table and I'll show you how I did these. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna need here is a clear plastic container with at least one flat side that doesn't have any type of creases in it. And this is gonna be what we're gonna use for our glass. Now when it came to design for the stained glass window, I just went with something very simple and just drew it on a piece of paper and then held the plastic that we're going to use for the glass over top of it and traced over it with a sharpie. Now once you have all of the windows drawn onto your piece of plastic, what you're going to want to do is flip it over to the side that doesn't have the sharpie on it and we're going to sand that down, which is going to give the plastic a nice cloudy look and it's also going to give something for this paint to hold on to. and then water down some paint. Painting the glass was very straightforward. Just put the colors where you would like them and just keep going back and forth, making sure to push the paint back out because it will try to puddle up in the center. Now before I moved on to the next color, I made sure that the first one was dry. And that was so I didn't get any color running together, because that was not a look I was going for. And once this color was done, I moved on to the last one and repeated the same steps.
For this, you're gonna need some very sharp scissors depending on how thick of a plastic you went with. Mine was not that thick, but it still posed quite a bit of an obstacle to cut these out. Now that they're all cut out, you can flip it over back to the side that has the Sharpie on it, and you can tell right away that it looks way better than you ever thought it was going to look. And these turned out really great, and I'm quite happy about it. Now as for sticking these stained glass windows in my mausoleum, I chose not to glue them in, and that was because in the future I could make other more complex designed stained glasses and would be able to just pop these in and out whenever I wanted for whatever scenario I needed them to be. Which in my opinion makes this particular piece very customizable. Now once we had the windows in, we had to go back with our Sharpie and redo a lot of the lines. Honestly, I went over every single line again just to bolden it. And because I had to trim some of the windows down to be able to get them to fit, I ended up doing all of the edges of the uh, stained glass as well. Like I said, bring everything back to the way it was when we first started with this whole thing. Okay guys, so there it is, stained glass, super simple. All you really need is a peanuts container or something with a hard plastic covering that has a big enough flat piece for what you're needing it for. A little bit of paint and a Sharpie, um, a pair of scissors, it goes a long way in this. And I believe this piece turned out really well really wasn't sure what I was doing in the very beginning. I was just kind of winging it and I think I found a really easy way to make stained glass windows. So anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope to see you guys back next week. I've got a special little treat for you next week. So hope to see you guys this time next week. <laughs>